KSAM Southeast Texas forecast. High of 67 this afternoon. Under clear skies, northerly winds, 8 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, lows dip down about 44. High of 67 tomorrow. I'm staff meteorologist Paul Trombley. Currently, it's 66 degrees. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners. Charlie's Used Cars, Domino's Pizza, Haven at M, Dr. Walt Lowe, Smoothie King, and Mike's Hard Lemonade. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. At ATV, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEV jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEV Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEV, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEV app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. It's time for Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. 101.7 KSAM has every dribble, swish, and squeak from buzzer to buzzer live. Now let's head down to the floor with the voice of the Bearcats, Rob Hip. Well, it was a good Monday afternoon, friends. Rob Hip here on another opportunity for sam houston men's basketball on a monday afternoon game i know that many of you don't hear basketball on a monday afternoon here on k sam but we're able to bring it to you today as part of the jacksonville classic live from jacksonville florida as sam houston men's basketball today facing the boston university terriers we'll go back the bearcats needed a bounce back and they got it in a big way sunday at the jacksonville classic if you tuned in yesterday you heard that game right here on the flagship as Sam Houston knocked down 13 three-point shots, they cruised to a 77-59 victory over Little Rock at the UNF Arena to improve to 2-2 two two on the season. The Texas A&M graduate transfer Savion Flag led the Cats with 17 points. Demarcus Lampley had 13, and Jaden Ray, who started in that game, had 12. The Bearcats opened the second half on a 13-2 run to seize control of that game. As far as Boston University, they featured six Terriers and double figures for the first time since 2013 yesterday as the Boston University men's basketball team rolled to a 76-58 win over Northern Illinois in the opening round of this Jacksonville Classic Tournament. Well, they had the help of nine three-pointers, and Boston improved to 3-2 on the season, shooting a season-high 56% from the field against a 1-3 Northern Illinois squad that previously held Power 5 schools, Washington, Indiana, and Missouri to a combined 37% field goal on the road. But today, this Boston University Terrier team, you go over 477 games. Going back through that, 311 of those games have been played by the starting lineups, the same guys. So there's a lot of veterans on this team. They have two fifth-year students and also two sixth-year students as well. So a veteran team today, Sam Houston, going to be looking for another victory and try to improve to 3-2 and two on the season. Before this one, a little bit earlier, I had a chance to catch up with head basketball coach Jason Hooten. We'll have that in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 
Many family celebrations occur during the holidays with plenty of memories being made then too. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. Because we are a family-owned business, we can be counted on to help you plan your family members' perfect celebration of life. We have planned and arranged thousands of services. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to recognize a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Rough up here pregame with Sam Houston men's basketball head coach Jason Hooten as we get ready for the contest today. But going back briefly against Little Rock Trojans, the Bearcats, and a 77-59 to victory in the Jacksonville Classic in the first game yesterday. Coach Savion Flagg had a good game, 17 points. Lampley also coming back in with a little bit of offense with 13. Jaden Ray had 12. Just talk a little bit about their play and your overall thoughts on that previous matchup. Yeah, I thought we played a lot better yesterday. Obviously, we got off to a really good start had some, you know, great production. And we made a few changes to our lineup yesterday. Uh, Jaden, J.D. got his first start. Um, and I just thought he brought us some really good energy and got us off to a good start defensively. And then, you know, his quickness with the ball was able – he was able to create some open shots for those guys. And I thought that was maybe a little bit of what we were missing for right now until we can all get real comfortable with each other in the offense that we're running. Well, today facing Boston University, the Terriers, the first time that Sam Houston has matched up with this team. Kind of your thoughts heading into this matchup coming up here in a little bit this afternoon. Really good team. Uh, very well coached. You know, I think I saw a stat on ESPN in the last 477 games um, their lineup their starting lineup has played 311 of those games uh, they've got two fifth year guys and two sixth year guys um, on their roster so a lot of experience and you can tell by watching them play uh, they run their stuff really well. They uh, play great defense, great rotations. Uh, you can just tell they're together on a string. And, and you know, they're tough. They t- they're a tough team. And, again, they're well coached. They're, they want the score to be low, low possession type games. And so it's tough. It's going to be a tough game for us today, but a great challenge. You know, it's a different type of style than, you know, what we've played the last couple of games. And so, you know, yeah, I think that's what's good about the preseason is you get to play good teams and you get to play different styles, which prepares you for your conference. And now it's time for the Coach Hooten Keith the game presented by Emblem Properties at Real Estate. Coach, your keys to victory in this one today. Number one, we have to establish our style of play. You know, we can't, can't get the game uh, in the low scoring, knock down, drag out type game. Um, and that's not to say that we can't win a game like that or play that way, but that's just not what we would prefer. We need to really get out and push and transition. Uh, but in order to do that, you know, you've got to get stops and you have to get rebounds. You can't give these guys second chances because a lot of times they make three, four, five, six, seven passes before they shoot. So we've got to, you know, establish our style and then we've got to do a good job of blocking out. Can't give them second shots today. And then I think Really and truly, we, we've just got to, we got to continue to get better as a team and a group. We've got to continue to run our stuff and set good screens and, and roll and get the ball inside and get the ball to the paint. Again, we did a much better job of that yesterday. And I think that's why our, you know, we made some shots finally because we got some good clean open looks. The keys to the game today brought to you by Emblem Properties Real Estate, who offers the customer service difference where our clients are number one. Coach, as always, appreciate your time and eat them up cats. Eat them up cats. Thanks, Rob. Let's wrap up our pregame with head coach Jason Hooten. More pregame coming up when we come back from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners. Double Dave's Pizza, Emblem Properties, Enterprise Holdings, Fast Signs, Faust Distributing, and First Financial Bank. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. Back at it, friends. Rob Pip live from Jacksonville, Florida. Thanks for joining us for the Jacksonville Classic. As Sam Houston men's basketball on the court now going through warm-ups. We should have tip-off coming up here in just a few moments. We'll go over the starting lineups for the Boston University Terriers today as they enter this contest on this early season. 3-2 and two overall under head coach Joe Jones. His 11th season at Boston, 168 wins, 146 losses. In his first stint as a college coach at Columbia, he was 86-108. and 108, And over his career, 18 total seasons, 254 wins and 254 losses. And we'll start things today with the guard, a guard, Javante McCoy, 6'5", 180-pound graduate student. Again, the guard, Javante McCoy, a 6'2", 190-pound senior guard, Number 15, Jonas Harper. Six foot six, 210 pound senior forward. Number five, Walter White. We did receive notification a little bit earlier that Walter White may not start as he is injured in this ball, in coming into this ball game. We'll have that updated as soon as we can. A six foot seven, 195 pound senior forward. Number 35, Fletcher Tynan. 
And last, but certainly not least, a 6'10", 225-pound graduate student, number 41. It is the Ford Souk Matone. And here is your Sam Houston Bearcats starting lineup for today. Around jumper here, Tristan Ikpe starting early, and the Bearcats take a two-point advantage. Find Lampley from the corner, weaving through traffic, the jumper, the two-shot, the yes! There it is to Marcus Lampley for two. Turn on the light. Over to Jaron Cook for three. Light the stove, baby! It's Jaron Cook, and the Bearcats are on fire here in the first half. He pulls it back down, though. Oh, what a play by Javion May as he hauled in aggressively the offensive rebound and dropped it back in off the right side of the glass. Dante Powers, zing, zang, bang, there it is for two. Oh, call dancing with the stars. We got a new celebrity on the court. It's Dante Powers. He's saying, I can dance just as good as you guys on TV. I do it on the basketball court. At guard, a six foot seven, 215 pound grad senior from Texas A&M University, number one Savion flag. At guard, a six foot two, 195 pound junior from Chicago, Illinois, number 11, I'm Javion May. At forward, a six foot six, 225 pound senior from Deer Park, Texas, number 12, I'm Tristan Ebay. At guard, six foot two, 170 pound junior from Starkville, Mississippi, number 24, I'm Dante Powers. At guard, a six two, 175 pound senior from Phoenix City, Alabama, number three, I'm lighting up. The Marcus Lampley. Once again, those are your starting lineups for your Sam Houston Bearcats. And actually, the change again today, as Dante Powers will not start, it is Jaden Ray once again. So for Boston University, it is Harper Zink who is going to start for the injured White, McCoy, Tynan, and also Matone. For the Bearcats, it's Savion Flag, Javon May, Tristan Ipe, Jaden Ray, and Demarcus Lampley. The Terriers of Boston University out of Boston, Massachusetts in their red jerseys, red pants, outlined in white with the white stripes, the numbers in white, and the last names of the players written across the back in white as well. For your Sam Houston Bearcats, they will remain in their white jerseys and white shorts. The Sammy the Head logo on the back of the jersey above the numbers that are in orange outlined in black as we are just moments away from this one getting underway. I want to remind you today that our Bearcat fan text line is open at 512-522-9105. Again, that is the Bearcat fan text line. Send us a message. Let us know where you're listening from at 512-522-9105. We'll get to those comments and those text messages as this game goes along. And also for those of you joining us in our special In the Booth video presentation, already have a couple of messages coming in. Zach Dillard saying, let's go Cats. And also my wonderful mother back north of Austin, Texas, Miss Shirley Hip, joining saying, listening in and eat them up, cats. Well, this Boston team we talked about earlier, a lot of veterans on this team, and they play more of a slow-paced game, as Coach Hooten talked about in that pregame interview just a few moments ago. But the Bearcats want to come out. They want to run their game, one area that they have really done well on this season. I've talked about it on every broadcast. I'll continue to talk about it as the rebounding for Sam Houston something they needed to improve last year. They're doing a lot better job here this season. For Boston University, they average just under 70 points a game. They allow 60 points a game. Uh, they usually are at about a 7.5 scoring differential when they are victorious. They rebound uh, not too much on this side for this Boston University team, but they do out-rebound teams about 3.5 per game. They also dish out 13 assists, block around 4 shots per game, still around 6 shots. For your Sam Houston Bearcats, the men's basketball, they put up almost 74 points a game. They allow 66 points a game. Their scoring margin just over 7.5. The rebound margin at 7.2. Doing a better job this season, dishing out assists at 14 assists a game. They block 2.5 shots. They steal almost 8 shots a game. And the turnover margin is 3 for Sam Houston. One area that they've got to continue to improve on is their shooting. They had a great outing just in the previous game against Little Rock as they shot well over 40%. They're averaging around 39.8% from the field this season. One other area that they've got to work on too is from downtown at 31% for this Bearcat team. None of the teams, if you go over stats, are in the top 50 in any statistical category so far this season. As the ball is placed at the center court, opening tip is underway, controlled by Savion Flag and the Bearcats. We'll move it from right to left. Welcome to Monday Basketball here on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Savion Flag has it on the right wing, trying to work a dribble inside as 
passes over to Lampley. Lampley from the left corner. He'll pass it behind his back, back over to Epe to Lampley. Lampley looking with 12 on the shot clock. Back up top, Jaden Ray. Jaden Ray works a left-handed dribble inside the paint, splits two defenders off the left side, high off the glass, and it won't fall. And the rebound goes right back into the hands here of Boston. So the Terriers will have it for the first time this afternoon. They'll move from left to right as trying to work a dribble here inside against Jaden Ray. Picking up the ball is Javante McCoy, who has it on that right wing, goes up top to Tynan. Tynan guarded by JV on May. No score, just underway here in the first. Tynan loses his handle from the left hand, picks it back up, goes to McCoy. McCoy working a crossover dribble, high screen at the top. Puts up a long two-point jumper. This shot rattles in and out, no good. The putback isn't there. The ball tipped out of bounds, and it goes either off Savion Flag or Javion May. And so, unfortunately for the Bearcats there, it will remain with Boston University. Again, no score just underway here in the first half of play. Inbounding the basketball is McCoy under his own rim on the S of the Ospreys logo on the baseline as he hands it off over to Zink and right back over down low. This one poked away, still able to hold on to it. Here is Tynan. Tynan trying to work his dribble, drops this one off, and it's turned over. Bearcats have it, Javion May. Second possession here for the Cats, moving from right to left quickly. Lampley, or actually it's Savion Flag from the left wing. That shot nowhere close, and the rebound goes into the hands of Matone. As Matone will bring it into the front court, actually passes back now over to McCoy. McCoy on the left wing, drops a left-handed pass over to Jonas Harper, who checked in moments ago. Now it is a three-point shot from the left corner. That one rattles in and good for Javante McCoy. That's the young man is one of the leading scorers on this team, averages 16 points a game, and he gives his team an early 3-0 advantage to start things here, just under 18 to go in the first half. Bearcats have it back on the left side. Savion Flag with a right-handed dribble from the top of the key. He'll pass it over to Jaden Ray, rotating over to the left wing. Now a bounce pass inside Ipe. He'll go over to the right corner, back over to Lampley. Up top, Savion Flag to the left wing to Jaden Ray. And now into the hands of Javion May on the left corner with four on the clock. Driving baseline. Turnaround floater here, too high off the glass. Not there. And a whistle. And we'll see here. I believe we've got our first foul of the game. There was a foul or it went out of bounds. They're going to say it actually just went out of bounds off of Sam Houston. So Boston will have it back here. They're leading 3-0 to zero as we're underway here in the first half. Under 12 minutes, 11. I beg your pardon, under 18 minutes, 17.47 to go here in this opening possession or opening play as Boston has it back on the right side. It is Tynan. Back over, Tynan has it on the right corner, trying to feed down low to Matone. Go over to the left wing. Here is a three by McCoy. This one off the mark, but the rebound offensive right back into the hands of Matone. Back over to the right wing, Tynan. Tynan guarded by JV on May, trying to work a dribble inside as he goes right baseline, picks up his dribble. Now he's trapped by May. Quick pass goes back over to Matone on the right wing. Now at the top, behind the back dribble is Harper. Harper trying to find penetration. He'll kick it back out to McCoy. McCoy flips it over off the right side, pass and the assist, and that shot good off the left side of the glass by Matone. It's a 5-0 early advantage for Boston here. Sam Houston still trying to find something as we are under 17 to go here in the first half. Bearcats have it back on the left side as Lampley will drop it off over to Jaden Ray. Now to Savion Flag on the left wing with a left-handed dribble. He is guarded by Matone. Now the switch-up defense as Savion Flag step back jumper from the left wing. That one rattles in and out. Shot's not there, and the rebound goes right into the hands of Fletcher Tynan. Boston with a 5-0 advantage underway here in the first. Bearcats trailing. Boston moving from right to left, or from left to right, rather. They have it under their own rim. Good defense here by Tristan Epe, forcing the ball out over to Tynan. And we've got a Bearcat player down on the court, Javion May. And they're actually going to call the foul on Javion May. So that is his first personal and the first team foul here in the first half by Sam Houston. Boston will inbound on the right side, on their own side of the rim. 20 seconds to go on the shot clock. The pass goes into the backcourt to Zink. Zink now drops it off over right wing to Tynan. Tynan inside, tries to flip this one up, and it's turned over as Tristan Ipe had a hand on it. Here comes Jaden Ray from right to left. He'll find Lampley, corner three. This one off the mark. Bearcats are cold here. The offensive rebound goes to Damon Nicholas Jr. who checked in. He'll turn around, the jumper off the right side, no good. And the Bearcats not able to find any momentum here so far in this ball game. Oh, for their last three shots. Now driving in off the right side and a foul on the court on 
Javante McCoy. We'll see who this one is called on. Foul's going to go against Jaden Ray. That's his first personal and the second team foul. And that will take us to our very first media timeout. We'll go ahead and take a timeout with them. 5-0, to zero, Boston leading here, 15-57 to go in the first. We'll be back in 90 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Many family celebrations occur during the holidays with plenty of memories being made then too. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. Because we are a family-owned business, we can be counted on to help you plan your family members' perfect celebration of life. We have planned and arranged thousands of services. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to recognize a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip from Jacksonville, Florida, the Jacksonville Classic. Sam Houston men's basketball trailing Boston right now 5-0. to The Bearcats over their last three shots. And so far, we talk a lot about that rebounding. Only one board for Sam Houston was on the offensive side. They have not been able to grab any on the defensive side yet to start this ball game. One turnover so far during the first break. Two steals for Sam Houston. They haven't been able to capitalize. Boston will get it right back here. As we come out of the timeout, inbounding on their own side, Jonas Harper has it on the right elbow. Bounce pass goes down low into the hands of Zink. Zink back up top. Around we go to Harper back on the right wing, guarded by Damon Nicholas Jr. Harper has to pick up his dribble, goes over the left wing. Here's a long three. This one buried at the bottom of the net. So a three-point shot there gives it an 8-0 advantage for Boston as they are in control in this ballgame first. Just under 16 minutes to go here in the first half. Sam Houston has it moving from right to left. Bounce pass goes down to Ipe off the hands of Ray. Ipe on the right baseline. Has to pick up his dribble as he is trapped by Zink. Goes all the way back up top to Ray. And they're going to call it a backcourt violation. Ray was back there trying to save it. And unfortunately, a backcourt violation. Another turnover by Sam Houston. will give it right back here to Boston leading 8 to nothing. Tristan Ipe out there. Savion flag. Ipe is actually going to head over to the bench. And checking in for the first time this afternoon, Kean Scroggins. Kean Scroggins, a six foot seven freshman forward, averaging five points a game onto the court now for the Bearcats. As the Terriers inbound on their own side of the court on the right side, Zink has it, guarded by Scroggins up top. Ethan Britton Watts also checking in earlier. He's a six foot two junior guard for Boston. Back over McCoy. McCoy trying to feed down low into the hands of Tynan, and he'll put up a shot. It won't fall. But he is fouled, and he'll go to the line shooting, too. So Damon Nicholas Jr. will pick up his first personal, and that's the third team foul for Sam Houston here to start this ball game. It's an 8-0 Boston University Terrier advantage, and at the line to shoot the free throws here is Nevin Zink, a 6'9 junior center, a 55% free throw shooter, played in all five games this season, 6 for 11 from the charity stripe. He'll bend the ball, bend his knees rather, right-handed free throw shot, good at the bottom of the net, and it's 9 to nothing. Substitution on the court as Anthony Morales, the 6'8 sophomore forward, checking in. So Morales down in the keys alongside Javante McCoy, shooting the free throws here is Nevin Zink, made the first one. He'll take a deep breath, bends his knees, right-handed free throw. This one no good, and the score remains 9 to nothing. Sam Houston looking for their first basket as they have went cold here. Five minutes, no score. Pass goes over to Kean Scroggins at the top of the three-point line. Back over to Jaden Ray. Jaden trying to work it from the left elbow inside the paint. Flips this one up. Tough shot, and he makes it off the left side of the glass. That's the first shot for Sam Houston. Trailing here 9-2 to two in the first. 
with just under 15 minutes to go. Boston has it back on the right side. The right-handed dribble. Anthony Morales, who checked in moments ago, guarded by Savion Flag. This one now goes over to Garrett Pasco, the six foot three junior guard who checked in briefly as well. Pass all the way over to the left wing, Britton Watts. This is an air ball and a rebound by Damon Nicholas Jr. Bearcats wanting to run here. Demarcus Lampley goes one on two, then he pulls it back over to the left wing. Back over up top to Savion Flag. Now to Kean Scroggins with the left-handed dribble at the top of the three. Lampley trying to go from the right elbow, gets it stripped away. Scroggins though, holds on to it. He'll take a jumper from near that right elbow. The shot won't fall. And Boston has it here, moving from left to right, leading 9-2. to two. Quick pass goes up top over to Zink. Zink now on the right baseline, trying to work inside the circle. Turnaround floater here. Great defense by Kean Scroggins, because he may have got a hand on it. Here comes Jaden Ray from right to left. He'll go over to Lampley, back over to Savion Flag on the left wing. Flag quickly, chest pass goes down to Kean Scroggins, just outside the left key. Trying to work now from the semicircle. He'll put up a shot. That one partially blocked and no good. There, good defense by Nevin Zink. Boston wanting to go left to right, leading 9-2 here in the first as Garrett Pasco has it at the top of the three. The right-handed dribble. Pasco trying to work something down, and this one poked away, but it goes right back into the hands of Pasco as Demarcus Lampley got a hand on it. Boston has it 10 on the shot clock here for Nevin Zink. He'll go inside, right side shot good, and it's an 11-2 advantage for Boston University here with 13.50 to go, and we've got a whistle and a timeout on the court. Actually, they'll take the time down to 13.07 to go. We got a whistle and a timeout by Sam Houston. We'll take a quick 30 second break from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. 13.07 to go here in the first half as the Bearcats trailing 11-2 in this Jacksonville Classic. Sam Houston been pretty cold from the field, trying to find some life here. Jaden Ray, the only one with points on the board right now for this Sam Houston men's team. A lot of friends joining us in the booth. Again, Zach Dillard, also Tanner Rocca saying, let's have faith, Cats. Lou Lee is joining us asking for a link. This is our In the Booth audio broadcast if you're on social media. Our good friend Carlos Zimmerman also chiming in. Good to hear from you, Carlos. You can catch him on student radio at Sam Houston, 90.5 The Cat from time to time. Also on ESPN Plus with select broadcast. Here's Tristan Ipe. Ipe. Turnaround jumper good for Ipe on the inbound pass. And the Bearcats finding a little bit of life here, trailing 11-4 to with 13 to go here in the first half of play. Boston has it. Moving from left to right, Britton Watts on the right wing, guarded by Dante Powers, who checked in just a few moments ago. Watts trying to go baseline off the right side. Puts up a tough shot. It won't fall, and Ipe with the rebound. He'll go down low from right to left. Savion Flag. Flag with the left-handed dribble. Now crosses under his legs to the right hand back inside. Flips this one up off the left side. The shot goes, but they're going to call a foul here before it goes in. I don't think it was an and one. They're going to call that one on the floor. And tough break there for Savion Flag. As the shot fell in, but they called it on the floor before it went in. Looked like he was in step. And they say no, so the shot won't count. And instead, just an inbound here by Dante Powers for Sam Houston on the left side. Powers claps the ball in his hands, tosses it up over to the left elbow to Savion Flag. Trying to work inside, puts up a tough shot off the back of the rim. No good, and the rebound here by Malcolm Chemeze. Chemeze checking in a few moments ago. Javion May, though, trying to haul it down here, and we've got a jump ball. And possession arrow, I believe, is in favor of Boston. So the jump ball will give it to Boston. Again, leading 11-4 here in the first. 12 minutes to go. Thanks for joining us in this first half of play. Sam Houston men's basketball live from Jacksonville, Florida. On the far side, moving from left to right here is Garrett Pasco, guarded by Dante Powers. Pass from the right hand over to the right wing to Brewster. He's trying to go inside on the baseline. He'll zing this one back up top over to Morales, and the ball goes out of bounds. Morales was trying to find Pasco, and good aggressive defense down there by Dante Powers. 
And that'll take us to another media timeout. Sam Houston trailing 11-4. Boston in control with 11.56 to go in the first half. We'll step aside for two minutes from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. For the best customer service and best deal on your new Ford, head to Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville, your noble headquarters. Thinking something sporty and great on gas? Check out the 2022 Ford Explorers and Expeditions. Don't see what you want on the lot? You can still get a noble deal on a special order with the assistance of your sales associate or just go to BillFickFord.com. Click order here and design your new Ford today. Built for you, by you. Bill Fick Ford, I-45 South in Huntsville. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Welcome back, friends, live from Jacksonville, Florida. Quickly back in action here. Sam Houston has it, trailing 11-4 versus Boston. They'll move from right to left. Savion Flag off the left side. This shot partially blocked, and Chemezi got a hand up on it as the Bearcats trying to find the, the rim again, and still no luck here. As they've only put up two shots so far in this game. Over back to the right side is Boston. As Tristan Ipe hauling this one down. He popped it up in the air. Now it's one-on-one. -on -one. Ipe to the left side, and a shot won't fall, but he's fouled, and Tristan Ipe will go to the line here, shooting two. Good aggressive move there on the defense, leading to offense on the transition for Tristan Ipe. And we'll see if it was in the act of shooting. Well, that foul is on Anthony Morales. It is his first personal. And the first team foul here for Boston in this ballgame. So Ipe at the line to shoot two. Three of four this season, 75% free throw shooter in four games. As he'll shrug his shoulders, takes a deep breath, bounces the ball four times on his left hand, bends the knees, right-handed free throw shot, bounces off the front of the rim and no good. Ipe will have one more chance here. His team trailing 11 to four. Just over 11 minutes to go here in the first half. And his stance, the next free throw on the way. Ipe makes the second one, 11 to five. Bearcats trailing by six. Boston University has it here, moving from left to right with that lead again by six. As Pasco has it on the near side, good defense by Dante Powers as he strikes it away, but Pasco able to haul it back down over the left wing. It's into the hands of Anthony Morales. Morales back over here to Matone. Matone trying to back down Savion Flag, and Savion Flag called with a foul. He was trying to back him down on the left of that semi-circle. Savion Flag with his first personal and the fifth, fourth team foul here by Sam Houston. Got to be careful here. Sam Houston got into foul trouble early versus Little Rock. It wasn't much of a factor, though, but against this Boston team, a different squad. Here's the inbound pass. Goes into the hands of Matone. Turnaround jumper here, partially blocked, and the Bearcats have it. It is Dante Powers on the left side. He'll find Lampley back on the right wing. Jumper for three. That shot's not there. Lampley trying to pull in the high rebound. Can't hold on to it. And the ball is all over the place. Boston not able to haul it in. And we've got a whistle here and another foul against Sam Houston. We'll see who this one is on. Still trying to see who that foul was called on. Bearcats now with five team fouls. 
Savion Flagg has one. Tristan Ipe, that was him on the foul just a few moments ago. 11 to five, Boston University with the lead and the ball. 11 minutes to go here in the second half. Here is a jumper for three, and that one good for Mike's Brewster. Brewster nails it from downtown, 14 to five. Boston in the driver's seat here. The Bearcats bring it from right to left. Over to Ipe with a left-handed dribble going left baseline. May have stepped out. He did. And that's a turnover by Ipe. It'll go right back to the Terriers. Dave Richardson joining us in the booth, saying plenty of time to get things going. Appreciate you, Dave, joining us on our Facebook Live in the booth broadcast. Feel free to keep those comments coming. We'd love to hear from you. Also, our Bearcat fan text line open as always at 512-522-9105. Let us know where you're listening from today, and we'll try to get to those as this game goes on also. As Boston will have it here moving from left to right. This one knocked out of bounds by Savion Flagg. Good defense as he knocks it off the legs of Brewster. And the Bearcats will get it back here. 14-5, Boston leading. Ipe will inbound on the near side, near half court. Bounce pass goes in the back court to Jaden Ray, who checked back in just a few moments ago. Ray from the left wing, crosses over to his right hand, now finds Ipe from the right elbow. Drop off pass over to Dante Powers, trying to work inside. Here's Jaden Ray, left wing three, and that shot's not there. Boy, the Bearcats are cold from downtown after they had a lot of shots jacked up from three-point land in the previous game. They put up five here, none of them have fallen in. Here's Kean Scroggins down to Ipe, right side. That shot isn't there. Good defense by Miles Brewster. And Boston wants to move from left to right. Got it on their own side, 14 to five, leading here. 10 minutes to go here in the first half. Ball into the hands of Javante McCoy on the right wing. Now back up top goes to Jonas Harper, who checked back in. Harper from the baseline. He'll go to Matone. Matone trying to back down Ipe. Inside the paint, Matone, turn around, jumper. This one good. 16 to five after that jumper by Matone. Bearcats have got to find an answer here as Jaden Ray on the near side brings it to the front court from right to left with a right-handed dribble. Now at the top of the three-point line, calling for a screen. Trying to set up a play here as Tristan Ipe has it. Finds Dante Powers. Long two from the left wing. That shot won't fall. Scroggins tips up the rebound. But they're going to say he went over the back and I believe a foul against Kean Scroggins. It is a foul on Scroggins. That's his first personal, the sixth team foul by Sam Houston. One more will put Boston in the bonus, leading 16 to five. Fletcher Tynan checks back into the ball game as Malcolm Chemezi heads over to the sideline for Boston University. Terriers bring it here from left to right. It's into the hands of Javante McCoy, guarded by Jaden Ray. McCoy on the right wing throws it over his left shoulder to Matone. Matone, long shot here off the left wing, won't fall. Rebound Jaden Ray, trying to split through two defenders. Ray is blocked. And here comes Boston University from left to right. Right-handed dribble, flip off off the left side. That shot is good for Miles Brewster. 18 to five. Boston on a nice run here. Sam Houston's trying to respond as Dante Powers brings it back into the front court at the top of the three-point line. Right-handed pass goes over to Jaden Ray up top, Kuba Kurwowski. From Warsaw, Poland, who just checked in earlier for Sam Houston, the seven foot two senior center. Dante Powers at the top of the three-point line now, trying to find penetration inside. Here's a long three. This one rattles in and good for Jaron Cook. Light the stove, Jaron Cook. Jaron Cook for three. It's 16 to eight. Or beg your pardon, 18 to eight. As Boston has it back over here, left wing. That shot good. The three-pointer nailed it. Jonas Harper. 21 to eight, Boston with the lead. So a three moments ago by Jaron Cook, responded there by Jonas Harper. Kean Scroggins has it, drops off over to Jaron Cook on the left side from the left wing. Handoff pass goes up top to Jaden Ray from the left arm. Throw back over to Dante Powers, back to Jaden Ray and a whistle here. We've got a dead ball, let's see what the officials call. We may go to a timeout. That will go to a timeout. We'll take it with them on a media timeout, we'll take Two minutes as Sam Houston trailing here 21 to eight with 7.37 to go in the first half. We'll be back in two minutes from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 
HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bower Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bower Stadium. Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bower Stadium, call 936-294-2701. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm had surprisingly great rates too? Yep. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back in action here from Jacksonville, Florida, Boston leading. Sam Houston in men's basketball, 21-8 in the Jacksonville Classic. The Bearcats, a dismal 3 of 19 from the field, only 15% and 1 of 6 from downtown. Bearcats have been out-rebounded so far in this game, 15-8. And they've turned it over three times. They haven't been able to capitalize on five turnovers from Boston. We'll get back into action here, see if the Cats can't turn it around after this break. They've got it back on the inbound from the left side. Kowalski over to Jaron Cook for three. This one off the front of the rim, won't fall from the left wing. A rebound here by Boston University. Watts will bring it into the front court. Right-handed dribble. Dante Powers guarding him. Chest pass goes over to Jonas Harper. Now the drop off over to Javante McCoy. McCoy trying to work inside. And we got a whistle and a foul here on Jaron Cook. A little bit too much of a reach in there by Jaron Cook. And that's the seventh team foul for Sam Houston. So Boston now in the one and one bonus with McCoy set to shoot the free throws. As Demarcus Lampley and Savion Flagg will check back into the ball game, Jaron Cook heads over to the bench. So it is Kowalski, Powers, Flagg, and Lampley down in the keys for Sam Houston. And Jaden Ray waiting behind the three-point line. The free throw coming here for Nevin Zink. He'll bend his knees, right-handed free throw on the front end is good. He'll have another opportunity here. Zink so far with five points in this ball game. Taking the second free throw on the right side as he dribbles it three times. He'll bend his knees, right-handed shot on the way. This one good as well, and he is now three of four from the free throw line here in this ball game. It's 23 to eight. Bearcats trailing as Jaden Ray drops it off over to Savion Flag. Back up top over to Kuba Kowalski. Kowalski, right wing, Demarcus Lampley. Lampley stepping back. From just outside the corner, he'll find Dante Powers straight away. Three splash, Dante Powers from downtown. The Bearcats needed a big shot. They got it there from Dante Powers. It is now 23 to 11, Sam Houston trailing, but finding some life here as Boston has it back on the right side. Zink, the turnover, Dante Powers goes up top over to Savion Flag. He'll throw it up, the shot's not there. But he'll go to the line, shooting two. It was a steal by Dante Powers. Up front to Savion Flag on the left side. And he'll be rewarded here with his efforts. Couldn't get the shot to fall in off the right side of the glass, but Savion Flag with two free throws coming up. Shout out to our good friend Carlos Zimmerman, who texted us on that Bearcat fan text line. Eat them up, Cats, listening from the Dan Rather Communications building. Here's the first free throw from Savion Flag. That one's not there. Listening from that Dan Rather Communications building on the campus at Sam Houston. Appreciate you, Carlos. Savion Flag is only a 37% free throw shooter. 7-19 coming into this game. Made, missed the first one. Here's the second one, and that one is good for Savion Flag. 23-12. to 
Sam Houston trailing here in this ball game as the Terriers bringing it from left to right. And we've got a lot of whistles. And they're going to dead the ball here. Trying to see. They may have. No, they can go to a timeout. Just the officials wanted to talk a few things over. And they'll get set back up here as Boston University will inbound on the left side on the opposite end of the court. Savion flag down there to guard him. As the throw in by Fletcher Tynan goes up to Watts in the backcourt guarded by Jaden Ray. Crossing the Jacksonville Classic logo at center court is Watts. Splitting through defenders, Watts throws this one off the right side. It's not there, and Kowalski with the rebound. He'll drop it back to Dante Powers. Powers over to Savion Flag on the left wing. Trying to work inside off the left side of the glass. Tough shot and good for Savion Flag. It's a two-point layup off the left side of the glass for Savion Flag. The Bearcats trailing 23 to 14. Boston brings it into the front court. Jonas Harper with it. Guarded by Lampley. Harper trying to work inside. Over the left corner. Dribble. Shot Tynan. We got a whistle though here and a flag or a foul against Sam Houston. That was on Savion Flag. That is his second personal. 18 fouls for the Bearcats. That one was in the act of shooting though. And Fletcher Tynan, the six foot seven, 195 pound senior guard for Boston to shoot two. 23-14, Boston in the driver's seat here as Tynan takes a dribble. The first free throw, bounces in and good. 24-14. Ten point advantage for Boston. One more free throw coming up here for Fletcher Tynan. On the right side, takes a dribble. Here's the shot on its way. This one good as well. He makes both of them. 25-14. Sam Houston trailing 5.50 to go here in the first half. As Jaden Way brings it into the front court to the right wing. Drop off pass over to Dante Powers. Kowalski, he'll take a straightaway three off the front of the rim. It's not there. And the ball goes out of bounds off of Dante Powers. So Kowalski stands at seven foot two. Seen him make some threes in practice. Doesn't take many of them, of course, at that tall stature. But if he's wide open, of course he's going to take it. Missed that one there. And that was his first three point attempt of the season. Now 0 for 1. 25 to 14, the Terriers have it on the right side as Watts trying to work. He is stripped from Jaden Ray. Jaden Ray up top to DeMarcus Lampley. Right side, good for DeMarcus Lampley off of the Jaden Ray steal. It is 25 to 18. Or beg your pardon, 25 16 as DeMarcus Lampley able to drop that one in. Jaden Ray making it happen. Boston back over to the right side. Into the hands of Harper. Harper trying to work a dribble. Instead, he'll pass over to the right corner. Britton Watts trying to drive inside. And Jaden Ray trying to take the charge. Instead, he's going to be charged with a foul itself. So Jaden Ray will pick up his second personal foul. And that is the ninth team foul. Free throw coming up here. One and one for Boston. 25 to 16, score remains. Five minutes to go here in the first half of play, live from Jacksonville, Florida, Sam Houston. Men's basketball in the Jacksonville Classic. It's Damon Nicholas Jr. for the Bearcats. The six foot four freshman guard checking back in. 15 points on the season. Averages four points a game and 13 minutes per contest. So here is Ethan Britton Watts, his first free throws of the season. Here for Watts as he missed it. And a foul called here against Boston University as Kurwowski was trying to haul in the rebound. And Nevin Zink charged with the foul. That's his first personal. And the fifth team foul by Boston. Zink has one. Tynan has a foul as well. And here comes Sam Houston moving it from right to left, trailing 25 to 16. 4.03 to go here in the first half. Lampley from the right wing, back at the top of the three, left-handed dribble, drops it off over to Savion Flag to Kowalski up top. A seven foot two, center has it. Here is Savion Flag, left side, that shot good for Savion Flag. And it's 25 to 18, Bearcats trailing. 
Boston University back over to the right side in the hands of McCoy at the top of the three-point line. Throws it over his head all the way to Harper from the right corner. This one off the front of the rim. The rebound, though, right back into the hands of Matone. Harper thought about a long three. Now he wants to work inside. Flips this one up off the back of the rim. No good. High rebound. Pops into the hands of Savion Flag. Flag moving quickly from right to left. He'll throw it over to the Lampley from the right corner. Step back. Jumper for three. Off the front of the rim. No good. And the rebound here popped over to Matone. And Damon Nicholas Jr. trying to... Save it, knock it out of bounds off of a Boston player, but he's not able to. Pasco has it. He'll take a jumper from the right elbow. That shot isn't there, and the ball is knocked out of bounds over Savion Flag, but it's going to go out on Nevin Sink. The Bearcats trailing 25-18, to 3.34 to go here in the first half. We'll step aside for 90 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Many family celebrations occur during the holidays with plenty of memories being made then too. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. Because we are a family-owned business, we can be counted on to help you plan your family members' perfect celebration of life. We have planned and arranged thousands of services. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to recognize a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Back at it from Jacksonville, Florida in the Jacksonville Classic. Sam Houston men's basketball trailing Boston 25-18 to as we have 3.34 remaining in the first half of play. Sam Houston only shooting 7 of 25, 28%, 2 of 10 from downtown. While on the flip side, the Terriers 8 of 19, 42%, and 4 of 7 from that three-point line. Bearcats have been out-rebounded by 6, 18-12. Ten defensive rebounds, only two on the offensive side of the glass. Four assists so far and three turnovers. Our good friend Ben Riker joining us, saying thanks for keeping me entertained while I'm mowing my yard. Good to hear from you, Ben. And uh, when you get done, man, if you want to head over to uh, my place, I'll give you the address, man. I could use a good, uh, you know, good lawn mow as well. Appreciate you, Ben. Good to hear from you, man. More friends joining us as well as in the booth. How about Bill Rust joining us from Raymore, Missouri? Bill Rust waving hello. Good to hear from you, Bill, and also. Griffin Walker with a shout-out on our YouTube in the booth stream. We'll get back into action here from Jacksonville. Sam Houston will bring it after the timeout from right to left. Dante Powers, the right-handed dribble at the top of the three-point line. Kowalski trying to set a high screen. Powers, though, stays where he's at. Over to Lampley, long three from straight away. This one off the back of the rim. And Ipe, he fights for it and has the rebound. Good box out there by Tristan Ipe. Over to Damon Nicholas Jr. on the left wing. Pass to Kowalski off the left baseline. Throws it over his right shoulder. Good for Kuba Kowalski. It is 25 to 20. Sam Houston trailing by only five now. Here's a three from the left wing. It won't fall for Boston. The rebound by Damon Nicholas Jr. He'll move quickly from right to left over to the left wing. Chest pass goes over to Dante Powers. Powers trying to set a screen, set a play here as he called for Ikpe. Now retreats back to the three-point line. Over to the left corner. It is Damon Nicholas Jr. from the bat from the baseline. He'll find Dante Powers for three from the right corner. That shot's not there. Nicholas with the rebound. His shot no good as he put it up off the right side of the glass. And the Terriers able to wrestle it away. Here is McCoy on the right wing, guarded by Lampley. McCoy flips it from the baseline. Left corner three. High arcing shot splashed at the bottom of the net. Three-pointer there from Miles Brewster, and it's 30-20. to 20. I beg your pardon, it is... No, they're going to call that. Well, for now, they're going to call it two, I believe. 28 to 20, the score remains here. It was a three. Here is back the other way. Ipe off the back of the glass. That shot won't fall. 
And Boston with it, moving from left to right. McCoy, he'll pass it over to the right wing. Morales inside, flip, dip, good for Morales. Now it's 30 to 20. As Morales was able to find penetration off that right side, flipped it up and used the glass and laid it in. Bearcats trailing by 10, moving from right to left. Dante Powers has it on the left side. Krawowski setting the high screen, powers the chest pass over to Ipe. Ipe wants to take it inside. Between two defenders, now back up top to Krawowski. The pass goes. Here's Nicholas Jr. over the left wing. Dante powers now to Ipe. Ipe from the baseline, hard shot left side, way too strong, and Krawowski knocked it out of bounds. 30 to 20 remains the 10 point advantage for the Terriers with under two minutes to go here in the first half. Bearcats only eight of 31 in this first half of play. The inbound chest pass will go into the hands of Pasco, moving from left to right, guarded by Dante Powers. Pasco finally crosses the timeline at center court, right-handed dribble to his left hand, crossover high screen from Matone. Matone, quick pass from the chest, goes back over to McCoy on the left wing. Right-handed dribble, double teamed here. He'll go back over to the left side, down low inside to Matone, now to the right corner as McCoy trying to find some separation, couldn't find it, Morales has it. Down to one on the shot clock, and this shot up, and I think that's a shot clock violation. Great defensive set for Sam Houston on that play, and the turnover on the shot clock violation. It's 30 to 20, Sam Houston trailing by 10, as Savion Flagg will check back into the game for Tristan Ipe. Dante Powers eagerly awaiting the inbound pass on the right side. Quite a bit of time here as they're talking things over. And Coach Hooten having a chat with some of the officials as well. Here's the inbound pass from Savion Flagg to Dante Powers. Under a minute to go here in the first half. Powers with the right-handed dribble. To the left wing, Bearcats. Trying to find a shot here, Savion Flag. He'll step inside, long jumper from 15 from the right wing, not there. And the rebound goes to McCoy. We've got a whistle here. And I believe we're gonna go to a timeout. It is a timeout by Boston University, a 30 second timeout. We'll take it with him, we'll be back in a moment. 28 seconds remaining in the first half, 30 to 20. Boston leads, we'll be back in a moment on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Sam Houston men's basketball trailing Boston University 30 to 20, 28 seconds remaining here in the first half. Boston has it as we come out of this quick timeout called by Boston just a few moments ago. This game made possible in part today by our good friends at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. As Boston will inbound here on the right side. Under their own side of the rim, it goes over to Javante McCoy. McCoy guarded by Lampley up top. The left-handed dribble now crosses over his legs to the right hand, Lampley on him. Backpedaling his way, McCoy back to the top of the three. Trying to set up for the last shot here. There's a little bit of separation on that clock though. As May trying to work inside, off the right side. We got a charge here, it's JV on May took the charge. And that's something that he does a lot of. JV on May, great basketball IQ awareness, able to take that charge. And that is a foul against Javante McCoy. And so Sam Houston will have the last shot here with seven seconds remaining on the clock. Savion flagged to inbound. Over to Dante Powers, into the front court, now to five. Powers. From the top, almost loses the handle, trying to look for Savion Flag. He'll take a long three-pointer, bounces off the back of the rim, and it won't fall in. Sam Houston will head into halftime, trailing by 10, 30 to 20, after shooting only 24% from the field in that first half. We'll take an extended break. We'll have halftime stats and more coming up. Stay with us, friends. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 
Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. For the best customer service and best deal on your new Ford, head to Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville, your noble headquarters. Thinking something sporty and great on gas? Check out the 2022 Ford Explorers and Expeditions. Don't see what you want on the lot? You can still get a noble deal on a special order with the assistance of your sales associate or just go to BillFickFord.com. Click order here and design your new Ford today. Built for you, by you. Bill Fick Ford, I-45 South in Huntsville. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. For the best customer service and best deal on your new Ford, head to Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. Your noble headquarters. Thinking something sporty and great on gas? Check out the 2022 Ford Explorers and Expeditions. Don't see what you want on the lot? You can still get a noble deal on a special order with the assistance of your sales associate or just go to BillFickFord.com. Click order here and design your new Ford today. Built for you, by you. Bill Fick Ford, I-45 South in Huntsville. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bower Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bower Stadium. Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bower Stadium, call 936-294-2701. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat em up, cats. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network welcome you to the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. Now let's go back courtside with Rob Hip. 
All right, friends, welcome back. Rob Hip from Jacksonville, Florida, in the Jacksonville Classic. Sam Houston trailing Boston. The Boston University Terriers 30 to 20. We'll quickly go over some team stats here for Sam Houston. They were out rebounded in that first half, 23 to 15. Four on the offensive side of the glass, only 11 on the defensive boards. Four assists, six turnovers for Sam Houston. One block. They had five steals and also 10 points down in the paints. Nine fouls in that first half of play for Sam Houston. For Boston, 23 rebounds, three on the offensive side. They've been cleaning up the glass on the defense with 20 boards, six assists, nine turnovers. No steals, though. And they also had 10 points down in the paint, six total fouls in that first half of play for Boston University. Sam Houston shot 8 of 33. That's not going to get it done. They have got to turn that around in the second half. Only 24% from the field, 2 of 13 from downtown. They were 2 of 4 from free throw land. 15 rebounds, 4 assists, 5 steals, 1 block, and again, 9 fouls, 3 turnovers for Sam Houston. For Boston University in that first half of play, they had 10 of 22 from the field, 45%. Not a bad shooting afternoon for these young guys. Five of nine from downtown. Also, that three-point line has been hot. Five of seven from the free throw line. 23 rebounds, six assists, no steals or blocks. They had six personal fouls and nine turnovers. That is your team stats for both sides. We'll step aside. We'll take another break. And when we come back, we'll look at individual stats and more. Stay with us, friends. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Many family celebrations occur during the holidays with plenty of memories being made then too. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. Because we are a family-owned business, we can be counted on to help you plan your family members' perfect celebration of life. We have planned and arranged thousands of services. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to recognize a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance. Plus, networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. With your Bearcat pride and spirit, by joining the Alumni Association, go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Make it smarter and glad we are back holding live events. If you are listening to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all of the very best. Look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at TicketSmarter help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on TicketSmarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. TicketSmarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. TicketSmarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip live from Jacksonville, Florida. It's the Jacksonville Classic. Sam Houston trailing the Boston University Terriers 30 to 20 in this game today. Well, Sam Houston coming off of the victory just yesterday in this tournament over Little Rock, a 77 to 59 advantage in that contest on a great shooting afternoon, over 40%. But here in this one, as I mentioned earlier before that last break, only 24%. This Bearcat team has simply been outmatched and out-rebounded so far in this game. 
A lot of veteran players playing together for over 300 plus games for this Boston University team. Sam Houston has got to find an answer in this second half as the Bearcats trailing in this one. We'll go over leading scores here for the Boston University Terriers as Miles Brewster, eight points, three of three from the field, two of two from three point land. He's played in eight minutes. Brewster with a perfect game so far for Boston. The next player in leading scoring behind him is Zink with five. Matone has four. Harper has three. McCoy, three. Britton Williams with three. Tynan and Morales both with a pair apiece. For your Sam Houston Bearcats, Savion Flag, the leading scorer. So on both sides, no team yet with any player in double digits. Savion Flag is the leading scorer for Sam Houston. He has five points only, shooting two of seven from the field, 0 of two from downtown, one of two from that charity stripe. He's hauled in two rebounds, 2,013 minutes in the first half of play. Right behind him, it is Ipe, Ipe, Cook, and Powers, each with three points apiece, but they have each only made one basket from the field. Jaden Ray, who was a standout star in the previous game versus Little Rock, who in that ball game, had 13, or bigger part than 12 points in that ball game here so far today, only one of four with two points, as he has two rebounds and assists to steal uh, two personal fouls in 13 minutes. And then Demarcus Lampley with two points, only one of five from the field after he had a really come from behind game. He needed to find a way to come back after his shooting woes. He had 13 just yesterday versus Little Rock, but so far today in this one, only two points. And then Kuba Krawowski, one of two with two points in nine minutes. You add all that up, it's eight of 33, 24% from the field for Sam Houston. I want to remind you, the Bearcat fan text line is open at 512-522-9105. Again, text us. Let us know where you're listening from this afternoon. We'd love to hear from you. 512-522-9105. You can also leave those comments on our In the Booth presentations on social media. For now, though, we'll step aside. We'll take a 60-second break. We'll have the second half when we come back from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bower Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bower Stadium. The Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bower Stadium, call 936-294-2701. Many family celebrations occur during the holidays with plenty of memories being made then too. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. Because we are a family-owned business, we can be counted on to help you plan your family members' perfect celebration of life. We have planned and arranged thousands of services. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to recognize a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. This has been the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We'll be right back with the second half of tonight's game on the Bearcat Sports Network and 101.7 KSAM. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online alumni.shsu.edu As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Welcome back, friends. Second half about to get underway from Jacksonville, Florida in the Fabletics Jacksonville Classic here at the UNF Arena. Thanks for joining us. Rob Pip here. Game today made possible by our good friends at HEB. No store does more than my HEB as Boston and Sam Houston both on the court getting their warm-up shots, wrapping that up. And we are just moments away again from this one to getting underway. I want to remind you, Sam Houston football, of course, in the postseason after a 10-0 victory or 10-0 season, undefeated season, the WAC champions, A-Sun Challenge champions, Sam Houston in the playoffs, the attacking national champions on the football side trying to get right back to Frisco after they did it in the spring, defeating South Dakota State. All the games because of that number one seed in football will be at Bauer Stadium. For ticketing and information, visit GoBearcats.com. 
That is GoBearCats.com. So we wish Sam Houston football the best of success as they continue their dominating ways and moving on. And by the way, Sam Houston's Eric Schmidt on the football side. He was named for the second straight week of the Western Athletic Conference Offensive Player of the Week. He's a redshirt junior from the Woodlands, Texas, and he has just simply been phenomenal to watch. A young man that's mobile in the pocket. He can pass. He can pretty much do it all. And good honors for him. We'll get back to basketball here, though, from Jacksonville as the inbound will happen here in just a few moments as Sam Houston will start things in this second half, again, trailing 30 to 20. I want to welcome everybody back into the broadcast booth, and thanks for joining us from Jacksonville, Florida, this afternoon. Also, a big thank you to Luke Scott back at our flagship producing this show for us today. Javion May will inbound this ball from dead center on the far side. In the backcourt goes Jaden Ray, and we are underway. Second half, Bearcats trailing 30 to 20 here in this one versus Boston. As Demarcus Lampley, straightaway three off the front of the rim, and Lampley cannot find it from downtown so far. The rebound, though, on the offensive side, back to Sam Houston. Here's Lampley on the left wing, back over to Savion Flag. Flag has it as he backpedals his way on that left wing. Now the swing pass over to Javion May. Back up top to Ipe. Ipe trying to drive inside. Savion Flag. NBA three. Yes, that one good for Savion Flag. Oh my goodness, from way downtown. And the Bearcats leading or trailing 30 to 23. As Boston has it here, moving from right to left, back in action. Leading by seven. They've been able to respond to every three-pointer by the Bearcats in this game. We'll see if they try to jack one up here as Tynan has it. Now guarded over the ball over to Zink on that left wing, trying to backpedal his way on Savion Flag. He'll throw it up top, this one, into the hands of Anthony Morales, and he'll bury the three. So once again, actually, that was Javon, Jonas Harper, actually. So once again, Boston able to respond to a Sam Houston three. They've done that all afternoon here in this one. As Sam Houston will bring it from left to right. In the hands of Tristan Epe, swing pass down over the right elbow to Savion Flag. Jumper good off the right side there off the feed for Savion Flag. And it is 33 to 25, I believe, here for Sam Houston as Boston will bring it back into the front court from right to left. Quickly up top over to Zink, Zink with it. Guarded by Savion Flag. now to the right wing, into the hands of Javante McCoy. McCoy passes over to the right wing, here's Harper. Harper trying to split through traffic, bounces this one over to the left corner. Here's a jumper for two from about 12, rolls in and out, no good. The offensive rebound and the putback good though by Nevin Zink. Hard to guard that young man, the center at six foot nine. That's one area that Sam Houston has struggled with. A lot of big bodies down there. Boston leading back to 10 again, 35 to 25. As the Bearcats have it on the right side. Over to Jaden Ray. He'll flip it up. Left side, good for Jaden Ray on the left baseline. It's 35-27, Bearcats trailing. And we've got a whistle here and a 30-second timeout by Sam Houston. We'll take it with him. We'll be back in 30 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here on this Jacksonville Classic Monday. Sam Houston trailing Boston at 35 to 27. That for the Bearcats only shot 24% in the first half, 8 of 33. They come out hot here in the second, 3 of 4, 75% from the field, 1 of 2 from downtown. And the Bearcats, a nice little rhythm here, trying to get back into this ball game as they have trailed by as many as 15 when it was a 23 to 8 Boston University lead at the 7-11 mark back in the first. Sam Houston has not led. They have not tied at all in this game. And so they will try to respond here. We came out of that timeout from Sam Houston. Then Boston 
I called one as well. So we're in a little back-to-back 30-second -back timeouts here. We'll go ahead and take 30 more seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Sam Houston Bearcats are national champions. Don't miss the excitement of Bearcat football. Season tickets and single game seats still available. Call the Bearcat ticket office at 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com forward slash tickets. I think they may have ended up stretching this to a media timeout, but that's fine. We'll keep it right here. Again, Rob Hip from Jacksonville, Florida, as we're about to get back into action here for the second half of play. We're already in the second half, just about three minutes gone or so. 35 to 27, Boston leading Sam Houston. The Bearcats on a nice little run here, trying to claw their way back into this ball game. I want to remind you, our Bearcat fan text line is open. We've had a couple of messages come in this afternoon. 512-522-9105. Again, 512-522-9105. As we'll get back into action here from UNF Arena. Boston will inbound here, leading 35 to 27 from right to left. It is. Javante McCoy, the 6'5", senior guard with the ball. Here is Javion May with the steal, and he slams it home off the right side of the glass. Oh, mama, what a play by Javion May. 35-29 after the monstrous slam by Javion May after the steal. And the Bearcats are boiling here in the second half. Back over to the left side as Jonas Harper swings this one over to Nevin Zink. Trying to work on Savion, flag through two defenders. And a whistle and a foul here inside the circle. We'll see if that one is on Tristan Ipe, and it is. It's called on Tristan Ipe. And so that is his second personal. That's only the first team foul of this second half. So not in the act of shooting, I believe. We'll see where they line this one up at. Foul is on Tristan Ipe. They had to go back and just double check here. Again, 35-29, 16-53 to go here in the second half. As the Bearcats are trailing, the officials reviewing a few things here. So far in this ball game, Savion Flag, the only player on the court in double digits. He's got 10 points now, four of nine, one of three from three-point land. One of two from the free throw line. And free throws coming up here. Actually, no free throws. It is a shot here by Boston University. So they'll get back into action here as we'll whistle them back into play. 35-29, Sam Houston trailing. Well, the officials still taking some time here. I'm not sure they were just reviewing a few things. Now we'll finally get back into play. As Boston University inbounding here is Ethan Britton Watts. 35-29, Boston up front, 18.55 to go here. And the inbound pass, and it goes out of bounds off Javion May. He's trying to feed it into McCoy for an alley-oop, and good defense there by Javion May to throw it right back out. 19 on the shot clock. Boston to inbound here. Actually, 16.52 is on that clock. Here's the drop-off pass over to the right corner. Watts misses the shot. Savion Flag trying to haul in the rebound. Finally gets it over to Tristan E. Payne in the backcourt to Jaden Ray. And here's Savion Flag on the right side. He'll swing this one off his right hip up top to Tristan E. Payne. E. Payne, chest pass. Lampley for three from the left wing. That shot isn't there. He was trying to create a four-point play. Didn't make the shot. Didn't draw the foul either. And now we've got an injured Boston University Terrier player down on that right side. I think that may be Matone. And Demarcus Lampley will head over to the bench. Checking back into the game here, Anthony Morales for Boston. So on the court it is Harper, McCoy, Matone, Britton Watts, and Morales for Boston and for Sam Houston. Flag, May, Ipe, Ray, and Powers. As Morales will inbound on the Bearcat rim. Moving from right to left, here's Britton Watts. Guarded by Jaden Ray, crossing the timeline. Left-handed dribble from the left wing. They'll swing it back up top over to Matone. Matone here, and a shot goes in, and that looked like a three-pointer. We'll see if it was. 
Yeah, it was a three-pointer by Anthony Morales is good. 41-29, Boston with the advantage. As Sam Houston brings it back over to the right side. Jumper here for Savion Flag is no good. And back the other way is Boston. Here's a three-pointer. This one is good as well. So now it is 41 to 29. After Morales buried one, McCoy buried one earlier. 41 to 29 is where we're at. Sam Houston will step aside and take a break here as they are trailing. They cut it close, but stretch the lead back out now. 41 to 29. Bearcats trailing with 15:45 to go. We'll be back in 30 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Back at it from UNF Arena, Rob Pip here from Jacksonville, Florida. Thanks for joining us for the Jacksonville Classic and Sam Houston men's basketball. Trailing Boston 41 to 29. The Bearcats came out hot. They were shooting three of four at 75%. Now cooled off a little bit. Four of seven from the field at 57%. The same though goes for Boston. They're also four for seven from the field coming out here into the second half. So Sam Houston has not been able to find much separation. They got it close to within five or so, but it's been stretched back out 41 to 29. The Cats have trailed by as many as 15 when it was 23 to eight back at 7-11 in the first. More friends joining us on our In The Booth social media feed saying keep that ball bouncing, you can do it. And we're believing them as well. The Bearcats. Trying to find a little bit of life here. They've been out-rebounded by 10, 27 to 17 in this game. Five on the offensive side, but the defensive boards have been hurting Sam Houston, 22 to 12. They've only turned it over three times, so it's one of those games where the rebound's really costing you this ball game right now, and also the poor shooting in the first half, eight of 33. We'll see if Sam Houston can come out of this timeout, see what Coach Hooten has drawn up, and if they can get a basket. Savion flag set to inbound on the left side. On the O, the Ospreys logo on the baseline. As Jaden Ray is out there, the pass goes to Jaden Ray. Ray guarded by Watts in the backcourt. Watts hits the deck. Ray still holds on to it. Now into the front court, over to the far side. Left wing, JV on May. Quick pass over to Epe at the top of the three. Jaden Ray on the right, right wing. Bounce pass down low to flag. Working from the circle, throws it up. That shot partially blocked. No, they're going to say goaltend, I believe. They're going to call that a goaltend. And it is 41-31. That shot is good. Yeah, so the goaltend will give Sam Houston the basket. 41-21 the score. Or beg your pardon, 41-31. As Boston will bring it into the front court from right to left. Jonas Harper on the right wing. Up top goes to Matone. Going down baseline, McCoy, the ball is stripped and turned over. It's Jaden Ray all the way up front trying to find Savion Flag, but he turns it over to Harper. Now Harper wants to work quickly as he throws it to the left side. The shot put up here is no good by Watts. The offensive rebound, the putback is no good there, and the Bearcats have it back on the left side. The Savion Flag will go to Dante Powers, who checked back in moments ago. 41 to 31 the score. Bearcats trailing by 10 as Tristan Ipe has it. At the top of the three-point line on the right side. Over to Dante Powers. Inside the paint. Powers floats it up. Good for Dante Powers. 41-33 Bearcats. Trailing, but cutting into this deficit. Cutting into the lead, rather, as Watts has it in the backcourt. On the far side, moving from right to left, guarded by Jaden Ray. Behind the back, dribble to the right hand. High screen set up top by Matone. Now the pass goes over to McCoy. McCoy, right wing pass. Bouncing inside, Harper back up top to McCoy with nine seconds on the shot clock. McCoy picks up his dribble, left corner three on its way. Morales rims in and out, no good. High rebound to Dante Powers. Here's Savion Flag on the near side, scathing through defenders, and he is fouled on the play. Not sure if they're going to give it to him in the act of shooting. He was well away from the basket. And the foul called there against Jonas Harper. So that is Harper's first personal foul.
And I believe the first team foul here in this second half for Boston University. Inbounding here is Dante Powers, 41-33. Bearcats trailing over to Ken Scroggins. Now to Powers on the left, on the right corner. With a Savion flag on the right wing. All the way over to Damon Nicholas Jr. from the baseline. Scoop and hoop off the right side of the glass. It's good. 41-35, Bearcats trailing. Showing a little bit of life here, though, in this second half. Shooting 70% from the field, 7 of 10. Only 4 for 11 now for Boston in this second half of play as Pasco has it on the right wing. Bounce pass over to Harper. Harper trying to work through a double team. He'll pass it back over to Pasco from the right wing. Trying to set up a play here as he gets a high screen from Chemezi. Works around it up to the top of the three. Now over to the left wing, Morales. Morales takes a long three-pointer. This one off the back of the rim. Nowhere close. Kean Scroggins. Oh, man. Kean Scroggins thought that that ball went out of bounds off Chemezi, and it did not. It went out of bounds off Scroggins, and so it will go back to Boston. Just over 13 minutes to go, 13-15 to go here in the second half. Sam Houston trails 41-35. Only six away. They can get back into this one easily. Goes up top to Chemezi. Handoff pass to Watts from the right wing. Finds Morales. Morales trying to work something inside from that right side, and he turns it over. He was looking down low to Chemezi. Good defense there by Keon Scroggins. So Scroggins rewards himself after knocking it out of bounds earlier. And here's the inbound pass from Savion Flag to Jaden Ray, moving it from left to right into the front court across the half-court logo. Jaden Ray, left-handed bounce pass to Scroggins on the left wing. He'll pick up his dribble, drops this one off. Savion Flag now bounce down low to Scroggins. No foul. Scroggins thought he was, and the shot wasn't there. He got stripped. Here comes Boston from right to left. It is Jonas Harper. Harper on the right wing. Crossover dribble on Nicholas Jr. Still holds on to his dribble now at the top of the three. Bounce pass goes down to Pasco, way up top near the right wing. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Plenty of time here for Pasco. As he is trying to push his way inside on the right side, now from the right elbow. Turnaround jumper, no good. And a rebound to Jaden Ray. 41-35, Bearcats trailing. They've got it though on the right side. Savion flag back up top, Jaden Ray. Ken Scroggins was calling for it. Ray's going to keep it, though, to the right wing. Down below 20 seconds on the shot clock. Nicholas Jr. trying to work inside. He'll find Jaden Ray for three. This one rattles in and out. He was wide open on the right corner. That would have been a huge shot. Didn't fall. 41-35, Boston with the lead. Six-point advantage. Moving from left to right. Under 12 minutes to go here in the ball game. As Watts has it, Jaden Ray strips it. He's got the speed to the left side. Throws it up. That shot good for Jaden Ray. It's a strip. And Steele and the Bearcats putting two more on the board, 41 to 37. The Cats trailing now by only four. After Jaden Ray with the strip and able to seal the deal back on the right side. Brandon Britton Watts has it. Ethan Britton Watts on the left side. Near the right wing, Jaden Ray who stripped him just moments ago guarding him. Chemezi at the top, left-handed dribble. And this one is almost stripped by Savion Flag. He puts his hands above his head. He can't believe it. So Savion Flag now with his third personal foul. That is the only Bearcat player nearing any type of foul trouble. That is the second team foul. And that will take us to a media timeout. 41 to 37, Bearcats clawing their way back into this one. 11.19 to go in the second half. We'll step aside from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Sam Houston Bearcats are national champions. Don't miss the excitement of Bearcat football. Season tickets and single game seats still available. Call the Bearcat ticket office at 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com forward slash tickets. Season tickets are on sale for 2021-22 basketball season. Season tickets start as low as $99. One price gets you both men's and women's Bearcat basketball. Call 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com slash tickets to secure your seat today. 
The Bearcat Pavilion at Bowers Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bowers Stadium. Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bowers Stadium, call 936-294-2701. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip from the broadcast booth in Jacksonville, Florida. The Jacksonville Classic, Sam Houston men's basketball trailing Boston 41 to 37. The Cats on a run, though, as they have outscored Boston 17 to 11 here in this second half of play. As they have doubled the shots made, eight shots compared to four made for Boston. As Boston will have it here, moving back over to the left side, leading by four, goes into the hands of Javante McCoy on that right wing, guarded by Powers. Clock running down here, five on the shot clock. Here's a left wing three, and that one, an air ball by Watts. And boy, he may have got fouled there by Javon Grant from three. Yep, that's gonna be the call. Javon Grant fouled him. We just checked in moments ago. That is the five foot 11 freshman guard. It's the first personal and the third team foul. That's three free throws coming up here for Britton Watts. First free throws of the season in this game. So the first free throw on its way and good, 42-37. He'll take the second one from the right hand. This one good as well. And now 43-37. And one more here for Watts, trying to make it three in a row. Next free throw, this one good as well. 44-37, makes all three of them. Tough break there for Javon Grant on the foul. Grant, nine points on the season, averages three points a game. He plays in just four minutes a game. The freshman guard, here's the right pass, goes over to Savion Flag inside the circle, and they say he traveled. And a turnover there by Savion Flag. Savion Flag with the turnover. Bearcats cut it to within four. It's been stretched back out to seven now after those three free throws just moments ago. And another quick foul here on Javon Grant. A little too aggressive on the inbound on Britton Watts. And so Grant with already two very quick fouls, four team fouls. And Javon Grant will check out Jaden Ray back in for him as Sam Houston Trying to get some control here. Boston will inbound under the Sam Houston side of the rim, and now they turn it over on a five-second violation. Did not get it in bounds in time, and Sam Houston will get it right back here. Jaden Ray will stand in the baseline under his own basket. It was over to Savion Flag from three. Yes, nail it down for Savion Flag. It is 44 to 40. Savion Flag with 15 points, two of five from downtown, and the Bearcats trailing by four. It's 44 to 40. Boston back the other way, and a blocking foul and one. As Fletcher Tynan aggressively drove to the basket, and a foul called there on Dante Powers. It's his second personal. And the fifth team foul, and an and one opportunity coming up here for Fletcher Tynan and the Boston Terriers. Just under 11 minutes to go here in the ball game. 46 to 40 is the score. Here's a free throw on its way. This one off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound. Back over. Here's a three from the left wing. The shot buried. Oh my goodness. 49 to 40 after Javante McCoy buries the three. Back to a nine point advantage. Sam Houston trying to respond. Savion Flag inside the paint, throws it away. 
He was looking to DeMarcus Lampley on that left wing and just threw it away. Miscommunication. Kian Scroggins heads back over to the bench. Tristan Ipe back into the ball game. Kuba Krawowski also in. Savion Flag and Scroggins out. Inbounding here is Javante McCoy, 49 to 40. Boston with the nine point advantage. McCoy throws it up top, goes into the hands of Fletcher Tynan. Tynan in the backcourt from right to left for the Terriers. Brings it into the front court with a left handed dribble. Now trying to work inside the paint, throws it over the right side. A whistle here. And a reach in foul called against Sam Houston. We'll see who this one's on. It's on Tristan Ipe. It's the sixth team foul and the second personal on Tristan Ipe now. As Boston will inbound this ball, leading 49 to 40. Just under 10 minutes to go in the game. McCoy's hot, and he does it again from downtown. It's another three-pointer. 52 to 40 now, Boston on a tear. They're on an 8-0 run over the last minute, 30. Jaden Ray to the right side, over to Kuba Krawowski at the top of the three. Now to the left wing, drops this one off over to Ipe with the right-handed dribble. Quick chest pass goes to Jaden Ray. Jaden at the top, guarded by Tynan. He'll find Nicholas Jr. from the right wing. Trying to work inside. He'll throw this one up off the right side. Too strong as it bounced off the back of the iron. And the rebound goes to the hot hand, McCoy. On the far side, McCoy all the way up front. And I believe he turned it over. He was looking for his teammate up there, Morales, and it went off his fingertips. It was actually, no, I beg your pardon, my tone. So a turnover here. We'll give it back to Sam Houston. Trailing by 12, 52 to 40. As Jaden Ray will bring it into the front court, all along the back court, now into the front to the right side. Ray on the left wing, and a little bumping tic-tac foul there on Matone. I believe only two or three team fouls here for Boston, so they're not in any type of foul trouble yet. As the inbound goes back over to Jaden Ray on the white wing. Tristan Ipe from the base, uh, from the left elbow. Flip it up. Good for Ipe. Drove that one in from the elbow, and it's 52 to 42. Bearcats trailing by 10. That'll kind of help put the gas on some of this run that Boston is on right now. Sam Houston, three of their last four shots are made. Here's Boston back on the left side. Down low to Matone. He'll swing it over to the right wing. Now over back to the left corner. Driving inside. Easy layup. Boy, give him a lane there. Tynan was wide open. And went through the express checkout aisle on that play. 54-42. Back to a 12-point Boston advantage. Bounce pass goes over to Jaron Cook, who just checked back in moments ago. Now to Jaden Ray on the left wing. Back up top to Ipe, left-handed dribble, one dribble over to Jaron Cook. Cook trying to rotate over, stays on the left wing. Nicholas Jr. down low, Ipe, Ipe with two on and partially blocked. Pulls it back down, another shot, this one no good as well. And the position here by Tynan. Tynan had a couple of choice words with Ipe there, and I believe that foul is called on Tristan Ipe. It is, that's his third personal foul for Tristan Ipe. Seventh team foul, so one and one coming up here now as Boston will shoot the rest of this ball game. They're in the bonus. Nine minutes to go in the second half. And leading 54-42. to 42. It's Fletcher Tynan at the line, the 6'7", 195-pound senior guard to shoot the free throws. It's a one and one, so we'll see if he can get the first one. If he does, he'll have a second one coming up. This one is on its way. It is good, and he will have a second one. Fifty-five, forty-two. Boston University with the lead. Tynan, second free throw, bends his knees, right-handed shot. That one good at the bottom of the net as well. And it is fifty-six to forty-two, with seven fifty-one remaining here in the ball game. As Jaden Ray trying to work something inside, he'll find Ipe to the right side. The shot's not there, but he's fouled, and Tristan Ipe will go to the line shooting two. After the foul there on that play by Fletcher Tynan. That'll take us to a media timeout. We'll break for two minutes from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 
Bush Medical Services in Huntsville provides personalized, high-quality health care to meet your individual needs. Health concerns? Need to see a doctor? Heart issues? Need a vaccine? Dr. Henry Burkholder of Push Medical Services strives to address all of your health concerns. Most major health plans are accepted as well as cash pay. Push Medical Services provides the most affordable care. Don't neglect health concerns. Visit Push Medical Services. For more information, visit pushmedical.org. That's pushmedical.org. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bauer Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bauer Stadium. Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bauer Stadium, call 936-294-2701. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Back at it from Jacksonville, Florida, UNF Arena. I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for joining us as Sam Houston trailing Boston University, 56 to 42. Before that media timeout, Ipe was fouled going to the right side. He'll have two free throws coming up. Ipe so far in this game, two of four from the charity stripe. As we'll get back into play here, he'll take a couple or actually three or four left-handed dribbles, bends his knees, and the left-handed free throw shot, no good. Misses the first one. Again, 56-42, Boston in the lead here. Ipe taking his time here, trying to split the pair on its way, and he does. 56-43. Ipe splits the free throws. Boston set to inbound here, moving from right to left. Just under eight minutes to go in the ballgame. 7.53 on that clock. As Bearcats are showing a little backcourt pressure here. Jaron Cook on the court alongside Ipe. Kuba Kowalski, three were in the back, now moving into the front. Jaden Ray also out there as well as Damon Nicholas Jr. Here's McCoy, who's been hot in this game on the right wing. McCoy trying to work something inside. Now the pass over to the left wing, drops this pass off over to Brewster, back over to McCoy on the right wing. Quick pass up top, goes to Tynan. Tynan bounced down low to McCoy. He'll hand this one off to Matone. Now they go back up top. One on the shot clock, turnaround jumper is no good here for Matone. Great defense by Sam Houston. On the near side, from left to right, it's Jaden Ray. He'll take a three from the right wing. Bam! Nailed it, Jaden Ray from downtown. The Bearcats trailing 56 to 46. And the Bearcats showing backcourt pressure again. The ball knocked out of bounds here off of Sam Houston. Actually, they're going to call a foul, so free throws coming up for Boston. Jaron Cook with his first personal foul. That is the eighth team foul. So at the line here, one and one coming up for Javante McCoy. McCoy so far in this ball game, 12 points. He is leading all scores. 56-46 first, free throw on the front end, no good. The rebound goes to Javon May. Javion May with the rebound. Over to Jaden Ray on the right wing, who had that three just earlier. Up top over to... Tristan Ipe trying to drive in. He'll sling it over to the right corner. Back over to Ray for three. This time can't nail it. Is it rolled in and out, and the rebound goes to Boston. Jonas Harper picking it up, scooping it off the floor under his Bearcat basket. Now up top. Here's driving in as Harper. He'll kick back out over to the top of the three. Quick pass over the left wing to Watts. Now back up top to McCoy. McCoy, left-handed dribble. Good defense here. Pass over to the left wing. Harper for three. Yes, buried it. Every time Sam Houston finds some light, Boston's able to respond 59 to 46. 
Sam Houston back down by 13 here. They've trailed by as many as 15. Kowalski has it on the right side at the top for Sam Houston. Tristan Ipe from the right wing. Here's a three. Jaron Cook, like the stove, hits Jaron Cook for three. And the Bearcats respond with a three of their own. 59 to 49. Boston has it in the backcourt. This little backcourt press has worked out pretty nice here for Sam Houston. As McCoy has it on the far side, now crossing center court. The dribble over to his left hand, now to his right hand. The left corner, here's a three by Harper. This one bounces in and good. Boy, took the miracle drop there for Harper, and it's 62 to 49. Sam Houston back into the front court. Jaden Ray swings it over his left shoulder from the right arm to Ipe. Ipe driving in, finds Krawowski, slam it home off the Tristan Ipe assist. 62-51, Sam Houston trailing. And that'll take us to a 30-second timeout from the Bearcats. Again, 62-51. to We'll take it with them. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Push Medical Services in Huntsville provides personalized, high-quality health care to meet your individual needs. Health concerns? Need to see a doctor? Heart issues? Need a vaccine? Dr. Henry Burkholder of Push Medical Services strives to address all of your health concerns. Most major health plans are accepted, as well as cash pay. Push Medical Services provides the most affordable care. Don't neglect health concerns. Visit Push Medical Services. For more information, visit pushmedical.org. That's pushmedical.org. 62-51, Bearcats shooting 59% here in this second half, but they're trailing Boston University, the Terriers. After they got it to within four at one point here in this second half, Boston a couple of back-to-back -back threes, defensive stops. The Bearcats have been trying to hang on here, though, and see if they can pull ahead. They have not led in this game. As Boston will bring it back into the front court from right to left. Into the hands of McCoy. The left-handed dribble at the top now slings this one down low to... Matone, he'll put up a shot there and a foul called against the Bearcats. It's going to go on Kuba Krawowski, his second personal, the ninth team foul. And free throws coming up here for Sukmel Matone. That was in the act of shooting. The first one is on its way, and it's no good off the back of the rim. Danny Forrest joining us. Jonathan Knobloch in the booth. Always good to hear from you. Jonathan, by the way, listening at work. Appreciate you, Jonathan. Tanner Rocca joining us, too. Here's the next free throw. Missed the first one, makes the second one. 63-51. to 51. Bearcats trailing by 10. As Jaden Ray brings it up to the right side into the front court from Savion Flag Back to Ray, now to Kowalski at the top. Down low. This one to Javion May, and it's good off the right side from the Kuba Kowalski. Assist, 63-53. Ten-point Boston Terrier advantage. Over to the right corner is Jonas Harper. Now back up top over to Matone. Matone, left wing. Pass goes to McCoy. Trying to work inside from the free throw line. Throws this one over to the right wing. Watts jacks up a three, rattles in and out. Kowalski with the rebound. He'll go to Jaden Ray. Ray into the front court now to the right wing. The left-handed dribble, trying to feed inside, and a foul on the offensive side by Sam Houston. That may be on Kowalski. It is. It's his third personal and the tenth team foul. That one on the offensive side, though, so no free throws coming up here, but that does put Boston into the double bonus now. They'll shoot two the rest of the way on offensive fouls on their side. Pass goes in the backcourt to Harper. 63-53, Boston by 10 on the far side. Working a left-handed dribble. Now to the left wing, finds Javonta McCoy. McCoy guarded by May, takes the high screen from Matone. Now rotates right side, right side of the glass. Good. As he got that high screen from Matone and was able to wing it around the world off the right side of the glass. And it is 65 to 53, Boston. Sam Houston's got to find a way to respond here. Kowalski at the top of the three. Drops it off the foot of a Boston player. Bounces over. Here's a three from the left wing by Savion Flagg. That shot won't fall, and Britton Watts with the rebound. And here comes McCoy. McCoy guarded by Ray. Drops this one down low to the left side to Matone. Working inside the circle on Kurwowski. Turnaround hook shot floater from the right side is good. 
67-53, 14 point Boston advantage. Bearcats have it on the right side. Jaden Ray, as he'll pass it up top over to Savion Flag, and we've got a whistle here and a foul against Sam Houston. No, it's gonna be against Ethan Britton Watts, and that is his first personal foul. That'll take us to a media timeout. We'll step aside for two minutes, 67 to 53, 322 remaining here in Jacksonville from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Many family celebrations occur during the holidays with plenty of memories being made then too. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. Because we are a family owned business, we can be counted on to help you plan your family member's perfect celebration of life. We have planned and arranged thousands of services. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to recognize a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. 67-53, Boston University leading Sam Houston men's basketball. 3.21 to go in the final frame of play. We'll step aside for 10 seconds for station identification. Artex this Signs is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Owned full service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. This is your home for Bearcats football. 101.7 KSAM Huntsville. Eat them up, Cats. Leading the way for... Boston is McCoy. He has 14 points, 5 of 10 from the field, 4 of 6 from downtown. He has those 14 points in 32 minutes of play. For Sam Houston, it's been Savion Flag, 15.6 of 13. The Bearcats have shot 60% here in the second half. They got it to within four, but they just have not been able to find any closer separation than that. Boston has been able to respond. Here's a pass down low, and Ipe floats it in and good off the pass from Jaden Ray. 67-55. Sam Houston trails by seven. I beg your pardon, by 12 with under three to go here in the game. As Boston U brings it over to the left side. It's Fletcher Tynan back up top over to Javante McCoy. Trying to work from the high screen that Matan set up for him at the top of the three. Now the pass back over to Tynan on the left wing. Javion May, good pressure here down to seven seconds on the shot clock I'm not sure if Matone sees it he's trying to backpedal Ipe turn around here and Sam Houston oh jump ball situation with one second on the shot clock one second on the shot clock and the possession arrow on the jump ball is going to go to Boston boy tough break there for Sam Houston I think they're just going to leave one second on the clock, though, so they're going to have to go quickly here. They'll leave the one second on the shot clock. Not sure there. I thought a jump ball would be a change of possession. Boston will hold on to it here. One second on the shot clock. All that they can do is try to do a touch and go, and it is a shot clock violation. The inbound pass went over to Matone from the hands of McCoy. Shot clock violation, turnover, and the Bearcats will have it back here, trailing by 10, 60 they're trailing by 12, 67 to 55. As the Bearcats bring it into the front court, it is Jaden Ray near the right wing, pass quickly, Lampley. Long two-pointer straight away, good for DeMarcus Lampley. And now it's 67 to 57. Is Lampley finding some light? Boston back with it on the right side. Under two minutes to go here in the ball game. As McCoy from the right wing, guarded by Jaden Ray. Ipe will double team him. Ipe steals it. He's got a wide open lane. Slam it down, baby. Tristan Ipe. And the Bearcats coming alive here in the second. 
We've seen it here from E. Pay and Jaden Ray. The steals, the Bearcats able to capitalize, trailing 67 to 59. With 1.40 to go here in Jacksonville. Boston with the lead. They've got it over to the left side. Bounce pass goes on the left baseline and one. My goodness, Fletcher Tylen, Tynan able to drop that one in. An and one coming up here for Tynan. So just as the Bearcats found some rhythm, started to come alive with some juice, Boston again has been able to put the lid on it and respond. Dante Powers will check into the game for JV on May. So on the court, it is Jaden Ray standing at the top of the three, eagerly awaiting the free throw coming up here from Fletcher Tynan. Kian Scroggins will check in for Tristan Epe. So it is Scroggins, Savion Flag, Demarcus Lampley, and Dante Powers in the keys for the free throw. Here's Fletcher Tynan for the and one, and he buries it easily. 70 to 59. Bearcats back to the right side. Approaching a minute to go. Jaden Ray at the top. Floats this one up high off the glass. Won't go. Kean Scroggins with the putback. It won't drop. And the rebound to Matone. Boston with the lead, 70 to 59. Under a minute to go here in Jacksonville. Javante McCoy has it. Swings a pass down low into the hands of Matone. Matone guarded by Scroggins. Now retreating over near the right elbow. He'll flip it upside. This one won't fall as it bounced off the right side of the glass in the left part of the rim. Here's Dante Powers. Powers trying to work his way back to the right side. He'll find Jaden Ray from the right wing back up top to Powers. Powers inside. Floats one up awkwardly and the shot won't fall and he's charged with an offensive foul. Trying to do a little too much there on that play. Dante Powers charged with the foul. That is his third personal. Boston here to inbound under the Bearcat rim on the right side. They're leading 70 to 59 as time winding down here for Sam Houston. The first ever matchup between these two teams in the program history. Devontae McCoy has it in the backcourt. Bearcats trying to trap him. Dante Powers, he'll finally get it into the front court on the far side. The left-handed dribble. Running the clock here, leading 70 to 59. Here's McCoy inside, flip, dip, no good. The rebound, Matone, the put back good off the left side. Why not? That's the kind of game that he's had. And the Bearcats here will just hold on for the last shot. 72 to 59, tough one here for Sam Houston. It's just shooting woes in that first half cost him this game. As Savion Flag has it, he'll try to do something here as time running down. 15 seconds to go, the shot is missed. The rebound here by Tynan. And they'll have to advance it into the front court. There was about eight seconds from there, and now they will advance it. McCoy into the front court. And he'll get a handshake from Jaden Ray and the Bearcats. Losing a tough one here this afternoon, 72 to 59 from Jacksonville, Florida, and the final game of the Jacksonville Classic. We'll step aside. We'll take a break. Post game coming up when we come back from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bowers Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bowers Stadium. The Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bowers Stadium, call 936-294-2701. 
At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Sam Houston Bearcats are national champions. Don't miss the excitement of Bearcat football. Season tickets and single game seats still available. Call the Bearcat ticket office at 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com forward slash tickets. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. 101.7 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network present the Bearcat Basketball Post Game Show. Now for an in-depth analysis of tonight's game, let's return courtside with Rob Hip. Post game wrap up here from Jacksonville, Florida, as Sam Houston men's basketball falls to Boston 72 to 59 in the second and final game of the Jacksonville Classic. The Bearcats made a run in that second half. They got it to within four, but they could not overcome the game here this afternoon. Their largest lead for Boston was 15 points. Here's some of those calls, though, as Sam Houston was starting to make that run back in the second half. 41 33, Bearcats trailing over to Ken Scroggins. Now to Powers on the left, on the right corner. To Savion Flag on the right wing, all the way over to Damon Nicholas Jr. from the baseline, scooping hoop off the right side of the glass. It's good. That was the only basket for Nicholas Jr. in this there. ball game. One of four from down or from the field goal area. Fifteen minutes, only two points for Damon Nicholas Jr. Here's some more of those calls going back into that second advantage. half. Moving from left to right, under 12 minutes to go here in the ball game. As Watts has it, Jaden Ray strips it. He's got the speed to the left side, throws it up. That shot good for Jaden Ray. It's a strip and steal, and the Bearcats putting two Jaden Ray on the board. finished this ball game with nine points. He was four of ten from the field in 32 minutes of play. Violation did not get it in bounds in time, and Sam Houston will get it right back here. Jaden Ray will stand in the baseline under. His own basket it was over to Savion Flag from three. Yes, nail it down for Savion Flag. Savion Flag finished with 15 points in this ball game. He'll hand this one off to Matone. Now they go back up top. One on the shot clock. Turnaround jumper is no good here for Matone. Great defense by Sam Houston on the near side from left to right. It's Jaden Ray. He'll take a three from the right wing. Bam, nailed it, Jaden Ray from downtown. Jaden Ray finished with nine points, four of ten from the field. We talked about that earlier, one of four from three-point land. Kowalski has it on the right side at the top for Sam Houston. Tristan Ipe from the right wing. Here's a three. Jaron Cook, like the stove. It's Jaron Cook for three. Jaron Cook finished this game two of three. Both of uh, two of three, both of those shots coming from three-point land. He had six points in eight minutes of play. Up there for Harper. 
and it's 62 to 49. Sam Houston back into the front court. Jaden Ray swings it over his left shoulder from the right arm to Ipe. Ipe driving in, finds Krawowski, slam it home off the Tristan Ipe assist. Tristan Ipe finishing double digits, four of nine from the field, 10 points, two of four from free throw land. He had six rebounds, three assists, two steals, a block. He was a little bit in foul trouble with four fouls, but not too much. They're trailing by 12, 67 to 55. As the Bearcats bring it into the front court, it is Jaden Ray near the right wing, pass quickly, Lampley. Long two-pointer straight away, good for DeMarcus Lampley. And DeMarcus Lampley finishing up in this ball game as well. And here's the final call in that Back second with half. It on the right side. Under two minutes to go here in the ball game. As McCoy from the right wing, guarded by Jaden Ray. Ipe will double team him. Ipe steals it. He's got a wide open lane. Slam it down, baby. Tristan Ipe and the Bearcats coming alive here in the second. Once again, the Bearcats had an opportunity, just couldn't hold on today in the 72 to 59 loss. We'll break one final time. We'll have the final steps coming up when we come back from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here from Jacksonville, Florida. Your final again, Boston University 72-59 to over your Bearcats. Boston will improve to 4-2, and two, and the Bearcats will drop back below 500 at 2-3 and three on the season. A lot of basketball, a lot of preseason, if you will, still remaining here for Sam Houston as they will hit the road at SMU. That coming up on uh, Wednesday, so we'll just two days from now, we'll have that call right back here on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network and then followed up a week after at the University of Texas. That will not be played, by the way, in the Irwin Center. It will be played in Gregory Gymnasium as Texas is starting to transition out of the Irwin Center. This is their last season playing there. And so Sam Houston, their last game last year was the final game at the Irwin Center. December will start with Shriner. you got to go all the way to January the 6th at Tarleton. That is when WAC Conference play will get started. Friends, been a good one here today, but unfortunately Sam Houston not able to hold on and never led in this ball game, but not able to come back after they trailed by as little as four. They could not overcome that deficit, and again, they fall in this game 72 to 59. This broadcast has been authorized under rights granted by Sam Houston to Van Wagner. The accounts and descriptions of this broadcast may not be retransmitted in any form without the express written consent of Van Wagner and Sam Houston Athletics. The executive producers of Sam Houston Basketball is Zach Kaditz. The coordinating producer, Desiree Chambers. A special thanks to the Sam Houston Athletic Communications Office. Appreciate Cody Stark and all the fine work that he does. Studio operations by KSAM. I want to thank Steve Ricks, our director of operations, and Luke Scott back at the KSAM flagship running the dials for us here this afternoon. I'm Rob Pipp reminding you tonight that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own, friends. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand to support somebody out there this afternoon needs you. Good afternoon, friends, and God bless from Jacksonville, Florida. Push Medical Services in Huntsville provides personalized, high-quality health care to meet your individual needs. Health concerns? Need to see a doctor? Heart issues? Need a vaccine? Dr. Henry Burkholder of Push Medical Services strives to address all of your health concerns. Most major health plans are accepted, as well as cash pay. Push Medical Services provides the most affordable care. Don't neglect health concerns. Visit Push Medical Services. For more information, visit pushmedical.org. That's pushmedical.org.
You've been listening to Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. No portion of this game may be rebroadcast without express written consent from Sam Houston State University. Our broadcast partners for 101.7 KSAM. We are the Bearcat Sports Network.